You know what's cool about fruits, like an apple? Well, if you want to enjoy one, you don't have to go to the stove or put it on the oven or even nuke it in the microwave. Just grab the apple, take a bite, and enjoy. <laughs> and I, I love apples. You know, I especially like green apples. You know, a fresh, ripe green apple. Something about the taste of them. Uh, I, I wouldn't bite into this one in particular because it's fake. And I bet you thought that was a real apple. I bet nine times out of ten you thought that was a real apple. Or maybe perhaps by chance you thought I was holding a fake apple. But what are the odds? You know. Anyways, are, are, don't we come off like that sometimes as Christians? I mean, I can totally relate. You know, we can play the part easily on the outside, right? On the exteriors, we can wear our you know, favorite Christian uh, t-shirt, you know, wear our favorite Christian bracelet, cruise around in that Christian bumper sticker. But inside, we know what we're really like. But we shouldn't be so concerned about how we look like to those on the outside. We should be concerned about who looks at us on the inside. You know, I like to, well, let me share one, a passage in, in Matthew chapter 23 where Jesus uh, he rebuked these religious teachers he told them that they look like uh, well, that, that they were whitewashed tombs they look very nice on the outside but on the inside they were dead man's bones you know we're, we're familiar with Forest Lawn uh, you know the park uh, that place looks so immaculate from the lawn to the sculptures they have these uh, uh, replicas of art, awesome artwork, good, nice-looking replicas of of stuff from Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo and other artists, and uh, even the even the the gardens out there. They dress that place up really nice, really nice for the deceased. Uh, so so we look at these tomb tomb markers that's over the grave sites, and you know they got angels and and other, other nice artwork and, and even the coffins can look very nice but when we open them if we, if we happen to look six feet under and open those boxes well we know it's a sight that we'd rather not see and you know when Jesus shared that I, I believe that's what he feels that's what he feels towards us that's what he sees in us when we don't you know, walk the talk. When we don't have that genuine faith, when we don't have that genuine love for God, um, it, I mean, it can look like it on the outside. You know, we can give Him all that lip service during during worship, but if it's a, if it's a totally different story on the inside, if it's looking like dead man's bones, if it's looking like eternal life, uh, the life of abundance has never entered in us. It's good as well as been death, be death, right? Well, um, so this opens the segue of the song I like to share called Inside Out. It's written by Joel Houston of Hillsong United, a favorite worship team of mine. And, um, you know, I, let me just go ahead and share another passage just to uh, cap off the mini Bible study. <laughs> uh, Paul speaks in Romans chapter 12. And he urges us to, uh, in the view of, his, of God's mercy, to be a living sacrifice, to be holy and pleasing to God, and not not after, after the pattern of this world, but you know, but to be transformed, re renewing our minds, that we would know, so we would know what God's will is for us, and and the transformation has to be from within, because you know. Um, even even the Bible talks about, you know, we know we will know who they are by their fruits. We know, we know the tree by its fruits. So, if the inside of us has been genuinely transformed by God's love and His Spirit, it'll show on the outside. And guess which song I'm going to share? <laughs> it is the song Inside Out, and and when I first heard the song, it gave me a 
instant conviction of how I should live. And I, I thank, you know, I thank Joe Houston for being used of God to create such a wonderful uh, song. It helps us have this introspect of how we should be towards God, because He knows what we look like uh, when we're outside of church. He knows how we live in our homes. He knows our thoughts, our desires. And he also knows that we need his help. <laughs> he, he loves us. He loves you. He wants the best for you. He wants the best for you, for each one of us, inside and out. thousand times I fell, still your mercy remains. Should I stumble again, still caught in your grace, everlasting, your light will shine when all else fades, never ending, your glory goes beyond all faith. Your will above all else, my purpose remains. The art of losing myself and bringing you praise. Everlasting, your light will shine when all else fades. Never ending, your glory goes beyond all faith. My heart and my soul. I give you control, consume me from the inside out, Lord. Let justice and praise become my embrace to love you from the inside out. Everlasting, your light will shine with all else face, never ending. Your glory goes beyond all fame And the cry of my heart Is to bring you praise from the inside out Lord, my soul cries out God bless you and stay in prayer. <laughs>